What's up, garden nerds? Today we're gonna talk about a horrible, horrible culprit, the leaf-footed bug, and how it does this nasty stuff to your pomegranate. I'm gonna give you some tips and tricks and talk all about it. Come on, let's go. All right, guys, so here I am in front of my wonderful pomegranate tree. It's my oldest pomegranate, it's my biggest pomegranate, and it's also the pomegranate that I don't really like. Check this out, nasty. Nasty pomegranate. So around this time of year, right now we're the beginning of December. Um, come November into December, I see tons of people showing pictures of their pomegranates online saying, what is wrong with my pomegranate? How come it's white? Um, how come there's no juice in it? How come it looks nasty like this? And in Arizona, normally there is one big culprit and that is the leaf footed bug. <gasps> So I wanna talk about that today so that you know. A lot of people answer and say, oh, you just have a white pomegranate. 90% of the time, that is not true. You don't have a white pomegranate, especially if you bought it from a big box store like Home Depot or Lowe's or anything to that nature. You more than likely have a wonderful pomegranate and it's the leaf-footed bug that is destroying your pomegranate. So let's talk about it. Okay, so leaf-footed bugs are nasty little bugs. You can see a picture of them there. They kind of look like stink bugs, but they have really long, slender mouths. And they grab, they, they come on the pomegranate and they stick their beaks down into the pomegranate and they suck all of the juice and nutrients out of your pomegranate. And these leaf-footed bugs usually come late spring early summer is when they come out to play and they start sucking all those juices out of your pomegranate. That's why a lot of times people get a bumper crop, a smaller crop that occurs later in the summer. Those pomegranates never get as big, but those pomegranates are almost always perfect. They're full of juice, they, they're not diseased at all. And that's because by the time those start getting bigger, the leaf-footed bug is not as prevalent. They're not, your tree isn't infested with them. And so they don't have time to suck out those juices. Now, a lot of times people will show me their pomegranate. I'll say, yep, that was a leaf-footed bug. That's what happened to it. And they'll say, no, it can't be. I have never ever seen one on my pomegranate. Where here, here's the thing, they hide. They see you coming and they go behind it. Also, a lot of times they will nest on neighboring trees or on the ground where you can't see them. And then at nighttime or early morning, they come and they attack your pomegranate when you're not out looking for them. But they are there, they're just very tricky and they hide. So let's talk about what you can do to stop the leaf-footed bug so that you can enjoy your wonderful pomegranate tree. The first thing is they are attracted to humidity and damp soils. So with my pomegranate tree, I try to keep the ground underneath it clear. Um, like a lot of my trees, I mulch very heavily and there's always some moisture in there, especially during the summer. But with my pomegranate tree, I try not to do that, especially when the monsoon season comes and there's lots of rain. I cut off all supplemental water to the pomegranate tree because I don't want a lot of humidity. I don't want damp soil around the pomegranate tree. So that's step number one. Step number two, it's a step you shouldn't do. A lot of people go out and they buy pesticides and they throw it on the pomegranate tree and hey, the leaf-footed bugs are gone. Well, that may be great, but at the same time, these pesticides are killing other beneficial insects that are helping your garden. And so pesticides is not an answer. If you really want to do some type of spray, you can do an insecticidal soap. You can even make your own insecticidal soap. It's just a little bit of uh, dish soap and some water and you can spray and that will help deter the leaf-footed bugs. You can also come out and inspect the backs of leaves and the pomegranates themselves. They will leave their, their eggs, very distinct eggs, and you can simply wipe those eggs off. And of course that will stop them from hatching and growing old and destroying your pomegranate. Another thing that people do, and that is very effective, it just takes a little bit of work because you have to be out in your garden inspecting every day, but you can get a shop back or a wet dry back and you can come out and you can just suck up those leaf footed bugs every single day. And then that will slowly decrease the population and they won't have time to sit there and suck the juices out of your pomegranate. Because here's the thing, once you allow the leaf footed bugs to attack your pomegranates, well then it's gonna open up the door for other insects to come in and destroy and look like this. You open up the door for other diseases. And so the leaf-footed bug did not cause all this black stuff. But the leaf-footed bug got to it first and then it opened up the door for other nasty diseases to come in. Another thing is once you see pomegranates start to, start to crack like this and open up, you, oh look, oh my goodness, get close. 
There's a leaf footed bug right there, live in person. Proving my point. So once you see them start to open up, you need to remove the pomegranate from the tree. Otherwise, it's an open invitation for this leaf footed bug to come in, lay their eggs, produce more offspring that are gonna attack other pomegranates. So once you see them crack or open up, get them off the tree and away from the tree. Another tip is once the pomegranates fall to the ground, pick them up. Don't let them sit there. It's just a breeding ground for more disease, more leaf footed bugs. I this summer did not do any of these tips that I'm telling you. I have in years prior and my pomegranate yield has been much better. This year I did not. I just didn't have the time. I wasn't thinking about it. And I've done everything you should not do. You can see there's pomegranates on the ground. Those are nasty. Those have invited leaf footed bugs. And that's why this year my pomegranate tree is horrible. Don't do what I do. Pick those pomegranates up off the ground as soon as they fall to the ground. And I do have another video about pomegranates and I gave a few tips. One using kaolin clay. Um, you can also use some DT dust. There are some other options to keep the pomegranates safe from the leaf footed bug. You can also, and I'm going to do this next year, you can also bag your pomegranate. Once they're a decent size, you can bag them and that will keep the leaf footed bugs off of them. So there are a number of things that you can do to keep them safe. Watch my other video and you'll get some more tips. So guys, you probably do not have a white pomegranate. I hate to tell you, like I said, that's the answer 90% of the time um, that, I, that I see and hear, but 90% of the time that's not accurate. There, it's not a white pomegranate, it's a wonderful pomegranate. So if you want awesome pomegranate fruit for years to come, start doing that. You need to start in the spring. Once the pomegranates start uh, forming, you need to be diligent and vigilant about keeping the leaf-footed bugs off of your pomegranates. If you do that, come Thanksgiving time, you're gonna have awesome, juicy red pomegranates that you can bring to Thanksgiving dinner and impress everybody. But if you neglect it like I did, you'll have nothing to bring you'll show up with this nasty thing and everyone will wonder why you even try to garden. So protect your pomegranates from the leaf footed bug and you'll be happy. Thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe, please like the video and I'll see you in the next video.